Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, Tiny and Tidy. I'm Vishali and I am determined to motivate you to declutter, simplify, and organize your home one tiny and tidy step at a time. Today I wanted to share some tips, or maybe some could be considered hacks, that I use in my bathroom and absolutely love. They're very simple ideas that have a lot of impact and are definitely worth implementing in your bathroom. So if you want to know what my top 5 bathroom organization tips are, then keep on watching. Tip number 1. Salt Yep, that's right. Salt isn't only meant to be used in the kitchen. Bring some over to your bathroom. Now, if you follow me over on Instagram or Facebook, you might have seen me share this tip in my stories. If you're not following me, make sure you do because that's where I share very useful tips and tricks every single day. All right, back to the salt. So what you want to do is clean your toothbrush holder and then simply add a bit of salt to the container. By doing this, the gunk and the mold won't collect at the bottom of your container and it'll be so much easier to clean. Once a month, you can simply rinse it out and then just add some more salt again. Not only will this keep the toothbrush holder clean, but even the bottom of your toothbrush won't grow any mold or get all nasty. Tip number two, bamboo toothbrushes. I suggest swapping out your plastic ones for these bamboo ones for several reasons. For one, they look a million times better than the tacky, colorful plastic ones. They feel great and they work just as well as plastic toothbrushes. And most importantly, it's more environmentally friendly than a plastic toothbrush. You can get ones that have different colored bristles so that you can easily identify which ones belong to who, but I just use a Sharpie and and write the first letter of our names on it. Our kids still have their colorful plastic toothbrushes because that's probably the only way I'll be able to convince them to even brush their teeth. Um, so I just put those away in the drawer so that I don't have to look at them. Tip number three, face towels. This seems like a very basic tip and maybe a lot of you already do this, but it wasn't something that I was always doing. So many years ago, I was part of a book club and the book I chose for us to read was The Every Girl's Guide to Life by Maria Menounos. Um, I'll link it down below. She shared a lot of great tips in that book, but one that stuck with me uh, was to keep a basket full of face cloths in your bathroom. That way you're not using your hand towel or bath towel to dry your face. When it was just my husband and I, I had a small supply of white ones, but now we're a family of five, so our supply of towels has gotten a lot bigger and we all use them. I also switched from white to gray because I often wear makeup and that was starting to stain my white towels and they were looking kind of dingy over time. Anyway, after we wash our faces, we simply grab one, dry our face, and then use it to wipe down the counter so it's all clean and dry, and then we toss it in the hamper. It's so convenient and useful to have these. I highly recommend adding a basket full of face towels to your bathroom if you haven't done so already. Alright, so before I get into tip number four, I just wanted to tell you guys a funny story about these face towels and my husband. Um, so a while back, a few years ago, we were cleaning out the fridge and I decided to take out all the shelves and bring them over to the bathroom and wash them in the bathtub. So while I was doing that, my toddler at the time, I had my daughter, um, she was taking the different shelves and things and bringing them over to the living room once I was done washing them and my husband was drying them. So before he started drying, he came over to the bathroom and he's like, what do you want me to use to dry these shelves and, and things? And I'm like, use our face cloths. And he's like, Okay, and I'm like, yeah, I don't want you to use a big towel because it's too big and it's just not, it's gonna be hard to get into all the little crevices and stuff. And he's like, okay, so he walks away and then he comes back and I'm still washing and he's like, are you sure you want me to use our face cloths? And I'm like, yes, use the face cloths. So he leaves again and I'm still washing and the, the tap is on in the, in the bathroom so it's really loud and I can't really hear and then he comes back again and he's like, are you sure? And he mumbled something and I don't know what he said and at this point I was getting so frustrated because I'm almost done washing everything and I'm like, yes, just use the face cloths. And he's like, okay, and then he goes away and uh, I'm done washing up everything. He's still not done. I don't know what's going on. So I leave the bathroom and I come over to the living room and I see all of these little cotton pads all over the floor. And I'm like, what are you doing? And he's like, you said to use the face cloths. And I'm like, this 
is a cotton pad. This is not a face cloth. And he's like, what? But I came over to the bathroom and I asked you, do you mean the ones that you use for toner? So I use these for to put toner on my face. And he's always like, what are you doing? And I'm like, this is toner and I'm putting it on my face. So the thing that he had mumbled when he had come over to the bathroom was, do you mean the ones that you use for toner? Uh, but I wasn't listening and the water was running and I couldn't hear him and I was frustrated. So I missed that part. Anyways, long story short, got a big laugh out of it. Um, I ended up showing him what I wanted him to use and I've learned a lesson that next time just listen. Um, don't just assume that he gets it. All right, so let's get into tip number four, drawer organizers. I got these black drawer organizers from the dollar store a long time ago and they really help to keep all of our toiletries organized. I've labeled each of the compartments so that things are always returned to where they belong. You'll notice that I have decanted products whenever possible. I like to do this because it reduces all of the visual clutter when I get rid of the original packaging. It can also be space saving and I keep all of the back stock in a drawer organizer underneath the sink. I've categorized the items in baggies. So for example, I have eye creams in one, serums in another and so on. That way if I get any samples, I can just add them to the correct bag and when I need something, I can easily find it and fill up my container. If you want to see how I organized under my bathroom sink, make sure to check out this video. If I were to redo how I organized these drawers, I would get clear acrylic containers instead of black ones because I like the look of those better. I would also get individual containers that are the perfect size for what I'm putting in them because when you get an organizer like the black ones I currently have, you're restricted to compartments that are those specific sizes. The organizer also doesn't fit perfectly in the drawer and there is some wasted space around it. If you find that your containers are moving around, you can stick them to the drawer using museum gel. It's a clear adhesive that is removable and won't damage or stain your drawers. Also, I label each compartment with smaller labels because I find these larger ones to be too distracting. Anyway, I'll leave that project for another day. For now, it'll have to do. Tip number five, decant. I recommend getting simple bottles and decanting the products in your shower. It'll look a lot more organized and you won't have three different bottles of shampoo. Instead, you can just refill your bottle when it's done. Getting rid of all of the original packaging also helps make it look less cluttered and more organized. And there you have it guys, those are my top 5 tips or hacks for organizing your bathroom. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button so that all know that you want to see more videos like this one. Also, follow me over on Facebook and Instagram because that's where I share daily tips and tricks all about organization, saving time, and simplifying your life. Next week, I'm going to be sharing my morning routine. So be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified when that video is posted. Also, if you want to learn how to organize your home step by step, how to meal plan, create schedules, and use your time more effectively, make sure to sign up on the Clear the Clutter waitlist. The link is in the description box down below. Once the program launches, you will be notified and provided with more information. Don't forget to hit that like button and share this video with someone that you know would find it useful. And if you like this video, be sure to check out one of these ones. They're full of tips and tricks that will help you get more organized. As always, thanks for watching guys and happy tidying. Bye!